sci-fi movie nerds and welcome to another episode of the sci-fi movie guy this is our star wars rebels season 3 episode 18 secret cargo review and oh my god this was an amazing episode um I can't say enough good things about what this episode had to offer. The visual effects in this episode were amazing. Um, the nebula scenes, the space battles, the storyline, the character development. Um, we actually saw the formation, the beginning of the Rebel Alliance. This was where it all started and I, I loved it. Um, when all those ships came out of hyperspace at the end, um, it reminded me of Rogue One, the battle, where they all go into the battle in Rogue One. It was so cool. Um, this was definitely, to me, a Hera Ezra episode, and I love Hera. I love that character. Um, and I just, uh, I can't say enough good things about the music in this episode. Um, I love the fact that, you know, Zeb was there too, but they didn't focus too much on him because they really wanted to develop the Hera and Mon Mothma relationship, how that grows, because we know in Rogue One, um, Hera is in the Rogue One battle. We'll probably hopefully see that at the end of season four, where Rebels will tie into Rogue One, which is going to be so cool. Um, and Ezra being a pilot in the Y-Wings, uh, that was really great. Um, and that new TIE Fighter, I don't think I've seen that before. Uh, let me know in the comments section if you've heard about that TIE Fighter before, but I don't remember ever seeing it before. And it was a cool TIE Fighter. I also loved, even though Admiral Thrawn was in such a small piece of this episode, this is the Admiral Thrawn that I've been wanting to see for a while. Um, he was actually showing his tactics. He knew how they'd go through the nebula. You wait outside here for them. And you get, we'll send in the TIE Fighters to chase them out. That's the Admiral Thrawn that I want to see. I hope we get more of that this season. Um, I love the fact that this episode was suspenseful. Um, during parts, I was like, oh my goodness, what's going to happen? It wasn't predictable at all. I love the, the visual effects when they shot into the nebula with the torpedoes and it blew apart the sides of the uh, Star Destroyers. Um, I can't say enough good things about this episode. Um, if I was to score this episode, I would definitely give this a 9.2 out of 10. This is probably one of my favorite episodes of the season so far. Again, we got lots of character development. We saw the relationship um, where those two uh, pilots that were escorting Senator Mon Mothma um, were getting mad at Ezra because of some of the things they had done and they're making it harder for them to fight because uh, the Phoenix Squadron had blew up the tower on Lothal and a couple of other things and they're like, yeah, you know what, you shouldn't do that. And it's kind of showing the that the Phoenix Squadron wasn't really thinking about the big picture, but they are now and especially with Hera in charge. She sees the big picture, but... You know, Ezra is still showing that bit of defiance, um, which I think, and again, a lot of people are saying now that they don't think there's enough time for us to see Ezra go to the dark side. But I almost think that might be the way they end this uh, series with Ezra leaving the Phoenix, going to the dark side, and then the Rogue One battle Ezra might not be there. Um, again, we don't know that it's actually going to end at the Rogue One battle. I hope it does, and I hope we get to see what the ghost's involvement was in that battle. Um, please let me know in the comment section what you think uh, about this episode. Again, to me, it's one of my favorite episodes of this season. Uh, because of all the space battles, the character development, everything that went on, I'd love to hear what you guys have to think. Uh, if you like this video, please click like. It helps the views. Also, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be fantastic. Um, if you want to email me, email me questions. I can read them on the air on my weekly show. Um, my email address is movieguysci-fi at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at movieguysci-fi. And remember, everybody, nerds rule the world.